So now I begin to get a call, sister, while I'm in the house of God that calls me to his feet. That the people are sitting around, he says, he says, if he knew who she was, my, my, my. He wouldn't be letting her do that, but we talking about Jesus. What you mean if he knew who she was? So the people are sitting around as you start to move because all I know is I'm not worried about you. I just hear the call again. That's right. The same call that got me off the street. I hear it again, but now I'm in the house. And now I got to contend with you because you don't hear the call again. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So as I'm stepping, and now my sister is in the house, and, and look at somebody and say, no more. No, no, no more. more. No more. We're not going to do this anymore when a sister comes in the house. No more because when she starts hearing the call, I want to help her get to her place. I want to push her to the side and call her. Why? Because I need her. It's kingdom business. No more. It's kingdom business. Look at somebody again and say, no more. No more. When I try to hold you down because I don't know yet what I got to do. I'm going to help you until God gives me my call. Again. So here she goes stepping. All these people sitting around and all she knows is I, I gotta get to him again. I hear him calling me again. So she starts stepping so I can hear the voice. And she knew who this woman was. Oh, she's a harlot. Oh, step aside. Step aside. Oh, she's coming out of prostitution. Step aside. Amen. Amen. Okay. Poverty. Step aside. Because I heard the word of God says that he shall supply all of yeah. our needs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's a sinner. She's wrong, but the Bible tells you there is now, therefore, no condemnation yes. unto me. Oh, yes. no self-esteem, but he created me in his image. Yes. This is what I hear you're talking, but I, I hear the word of God saying these are the things that he has called me to be. So I got to keep stepping. I got to keep stepping. Oh, she's a sinner. And all this had sins, all the things that she had done. But I heard about the blood of Jesus. Oh, the, yes. the only the blood of Jesus could That's wash right. away my yes. sins. Yes. What the psalmist says, what could make me whole again? Yeah. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeah. And so I'm getting to his feet because there he can heal my broken heart. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He heals the broken heart. Yeah. He binds it up that wound. Yeah. It is good to bless his holy name. Yeah. Because I'm stepping and I hear you talking, but I tried. I, I look back and I think I tried to find in the world what I'm not finding under the washed blood of Jesus. So I tried to find peace with my friends. I couldn't find it. I tried to find it, how to get out of poverty. I could not find it. Amen. I tried to figure out how to get above. I couldn't find it on the outside. I tried. I looked everywhere. I knew to look, Brody. I tried it, but I couldn't find it because it's only in the house yeah, of God. And as he calls you, once you're in the house, he begins to call you yes, to his feet. Yeah, and so you're stepping in, and everybody's talking, and they're telling you what you can't do. you got to hear the word of God. Yeah. <laughs> My God. He said, I'm more than a conqueror. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. And if I seek first the kingdom of God, yeah, all these yeah. other things will be added unto yeah, me. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the stuff that you're worried about anymore because I'm making my way to Jesus. And as I get closer to him and I find that there's nobody in this position, I'm going to his feet. You weren't there. It's vacant. It's open. I'm going to his feet because at his feet I find peace. And the word of God tells me I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. I will constantly lift up the name of Jesus. You cannot take that from me. So as I find my way to the feet of Jesus, and I begin to wash his feet. Yes. Hallelujah. Because it wasn't easy to ride to get there now. You got to remember. <laughs> we preach it, it sounds easy. Yeah. Sounds like I went from here to here. But in the process, I, I, and when I had the, the sickness I went through, and I went to the doctor to get explained the bronchitis and the infection, and I kept telling him I kept having these different symptoms, and I got the pain, and he said it's called spasm, because there's an infected area there. And so when you spasm out, you can't do that. You're coughing, you're choking, you're breathing, you're wheezing, you're vomiting, and it stops you. Right where you are. And you're wheezing. 
and you're, it's called spazzing. You're spazzing. And we're doing that sometimes in the body of yeah. Christ. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. As we find our way to Him, yes. we, we're stopping in our tracks because we're spazzing. That if we allow God to deal with those little areas, and you spaz because there's an infection that's blocking up that airway. Yes, amen. And so as we stop and allow God to deal with that infected area that's there in our lives, we can stop the spazzing. You better yeah. say it. All right, all right. And you can start stepping again. Yes. And get closer and closer to the things of God. Amen. 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 And so as she began to cry and, and, and wash his feet, and everybody sitting there looking, and everybody else is talking. Don't worry about that. That's right. Don't worry about that because check this out. Jesus dealt with them. She didn't have to respond. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on, Pastor. Mm. She had just had to do what he called her to do. That's it. I ain't got to respond to that mess, right? right. That's right. Hallelujah. So, so the key is if you don't want to get left out, you need to just do what God has for you. Right. Help when you can yeah. and do what God has for you to do. Yeah. Because while they are talking, bro, God got you covered. Amen. That's right. Family, Amen. I got something to say to you mm-hmm. while he's looking at her. Mm-hmm. Mm. Power. Mm. And I know you hear me. Yes. <laughs> who who who's gonna be more grateful with what I'm doing for them? You tell me. He gives us the example, and he finally answers. But see, you got to know that while you're down there, there crying, uh-huh. worshiping God because you just heard the call, and all I know, God is that I just want to get to you because I yeah. heard the call one more time, and because things have begun to change in my life. Yes. And because now you are first in my life. I'm not just yes. in the house anymore. Wow. You changed me and you changed my heart. Yes. And I need to get to you. So while I'm serving you, you're covering me. Yes, yes. yes. The Bible says he's your reward. He's got your back. Yes. Amen. You don't have to answer that mess anymore. That's you don't right. have to respond to that mess anymore. My God. You just need to know that God has you covered at all times. Yes. And on every side. All you got to do, look at somebody and say, answer the call. Answer the call. 